You know guys, without rebooting the gateway, you can reset the SIC. Executing few commands, you can able to deliver or reset the SIC from the command line. Uh, steps are very simple. You have to run these three commands. And these three commands, uh, once you have run these three commands, then you need to go to the management server and from there, you need to reset the SIC. It's that simple. But how it work, you have to watch this video till the end and see uh, what are the steps, what are the things coming to the picture. I'll be showing you each and every aspect via running all the command from all the point of view so that whenever you do this work in a production environment, you will understand what is going on and where the things will going to be impact. Uh, there is a command. So you can see there the command called cp underscore con space sick in it. New activation key. New activation key is your password or you can say the sick key which we generally use. And second command is all about the resetting the cpd daemon. We already discussed why the cpd daemon is used so basically we are just resetting the or restarting the cpd daemons and then uh, i mean we are stopping the cpd daemon and then we are starting it that's it we are not rebooting the gateway and rest of the functionality whatsoever will be impact there as it is so in my previous video i have explained this multiple times just wanted to recap so there is a port called 18 x which is more for the sick thing to get internal communication. And here the port number specifically 18191 and 18211 will come into the picture when we you know try to resist it. So 18191 is more towards the generic process for checkpoint services such as installing fetching policy on it updates and 18211 is more towards the you know sick push certificates so when we talk about the three tier architecture or there we have already discussed all these things how this sick certificates works how it is done there is a lot of things lot of discussion already done so i am not putting more uh you know the emphasis here so i hope you guys clear now the intention of this video so what i'm going to do i am just going to run this command into the gateways and i am going to see whether i am able to reset my sick or not all right so this is the number one command then we'll do the number two command and this is number three command so basically what we are going to do, we'll be running this command first, then we'll stop the CPD daemon, then we'll start the CPD daemon, and then we'll go to the management server and re-establish SIG. Okay, this is the steps. So let me do that and you can watch while I'm doing it. Let me check if my all services are up and running. I can see everything is good. Meanwhile, just uh, start the smart console so that we already get logged into the manual server. Let me see if my console is there. ETH prop status. And right now, as you can see on my screen, Right now I am on my active gateway and this is the standby, the other one. Let me clear up the screen and let me just log into this console and simultaneously we will do the other work. Uh, I hope this is connecting. Okay, it's connecting. Let's go ahead and, you know, put this command into the system. So instead of this new key, let's put whatever the sick key we want to specify. Here I am just giving say admin one, two, three for now. 
for the lab purpose so this is the key i am going to enter i'm just copy pasting this command and basically as you can see here it's mentioning no restart so let's see if it work let me put in command okay the command is got entered and saying initial module compile okay initial module compile okay Finding OS security initial policy will be applied until the first policy is installed. The secure internal communication was successfully initialized. That means whatever the SIG I was having earlier that got changed with this. But that is not only the thing we need to do. We need to now restart the demons. So I'm just copy pasting this command. Uh, I hope the command will work. Let me copy this one. Uh, meanwhile, just check the status. Is there any change here? So nothing is there. Uptime. Everything looks good. Uh, top. All processes are running. Uh, CPWD underscore admin list. Let's see if we have everything running. And I can see everything is established. There is nothing is no issue. So let me copy paste the another command number two. I think let me copy that first. Okay. Okay, let me enter this command now. So it's saying it's stopping the CPD daemon. So let's see if that happens with this command and by the way i'll be putting this command in the description so you can have those command with you handy from the video itself uh, let's hope this works because i'm trying this uh, first time so it's saying the cpd daemon is stopped okay and exit code is zero everything looks good to confirm that just rerun that command uh, cpwd underscore admin list and we can see here this guy so if you see the cpd daemon is terminated right so the command is got executed so let me clean up the screen and let's go ahead and run another command cpwd underscore admin start this command and let's see if it started so it's saying the things are get started let me confirm with the underscore t uh, i mean cpwd underscore admin list command and i can see cpd is now started now next step is we just have to go to the uh, this guy and from here i have to reset the sync just give the new key Meanwhile, I want to see admin123 is the key. Uh, if you see the communication, it's saying trust established, test the uh, status, and it's saying not communicating. So obviously, we have reset it because of that, it's showing like that. So now, reset the sick from here and give the password what we have here which is admin123 so let me put that admin123 again admin123 let's initialize awesome so you can see guys without restarting the gateway i'm able to establish trust here and it shows that this method works uh now let me publish right so i hope guys this video you found informative and thanks for supporting me watching my video. thanks for watching this video guys and have a wonderful day ahead